interrogation video of the dude behind D. The, remember that he did a pow pow over at DT's National Doral Resort in 2018. Yeah, that resurfaces because he had a lot to say. And it's about this guy right here and how uh, they uh, they did this, a lot of this. Not just him and him, him and Diddy, but also him and um, uh, Casey. She was also there. So yeah, this uh, came back. Oh, by the way, this guy's a, a, apparently a prawn star. He does prawn. Oh, he did prawn. He's probably in jail now, but um, yeah. He's in a hospital gown uh, because uh, he got popped off by the cops in the leg. So uh, this is the interrogation after he got out of the hospital. And yeah, he, may, he mentions a lot about the Diddy. This is him in his prawn days looking ripped. And this is the video which we will watch uh, once, we, once we get there. But yeah, this guy, he apparently is like, oh yeah, I was essentially his slave, like his bang slave. Uh, yeah, yeah. An interrogation video from 2018 involving Jonathan Audie, a man involved in a episode at DT's National Door Resort in Florida. We'll have that video coming up. He has come, this has come to light, revealing shocking allegations against music mogul Sean Combs and singer Casey Ventura. Oh. In 2018, Jonathan Audi, a South African native, stormed into the lobby of Trump National Doral Golf Club, flashing a gun and shouting anti-DT rhetoric. The situation is, it's funny how they all know each other, right? All these DT haters know each other. Holy crap. The situation escalated into a gunfight with law enforcement before Audi was taken into custody. Audi, a former male escort, you know what that means. It's not women who need escorts, guys. It's other guys, okay? Uh, women, it's, just, it's easy to get action as a lady in this country. Anyways, a male escort with a background that includes work as a stripper and adult prawn star. Uh, has he been incarcerated since the incident? Wow, okay, so he's been locked up since. You figured he would have gotten pardoned by now, by Biden, right? Miami Days police director said Audi removed a flag from the back of the property. It was a Trump flag, it was a, uh, a US flag and entered the lobby early Friday morning shouting anti-DT rhetoric. Later, pow powing into the ceiling and chandeliers as officers rushed in. Five officers fired their guns at him and Audi suffered multiple wounds to the legs. During the police interrogation following the arrest, Audi made startling claims about his personal encounters with Combs and his girlfriend at the time, Casey. He described himself as having been a playtime slave for the couple. The couple, not him, the couple. Detailing what he described as coercive playtime encounters under Combs' direction. In quotes, he says, I banged Casey and Sean. <clears throat> he would jack it and tell me what to do to Casey. He's one of those. He's a cuck, guys. I had like 15 encounters. 15. Oh, look at that. Guy's got a lot of time, huh? I was like a slave to them, a playtime one. For uh, for that, for them, that's what I was. I caught. Oh, he caught herpes. Ooh, that's gross. That's gross. Oh. Anyways, yeah, that's him in his ripped days. He's probably still ripped right now. He's probably even more ripped in prison, right? He's probably the top in prison is what I'm guessing, right? The footage also captures Audi asserting that DT, D -D -T, Diddy is part of an underground group known as the Boule, which he suggests is connected to the Illuminati. The Boule, huh? That's a new one. He further claimed that Diddy, uh, Rick Ross, and DJ Khalid are secretly gay and that many well-known rappers are involved in smuggling of substances wow yeah it's funny when you look back to elementary school and high school how all the people who listen to rap and diddy and and snoop dogg they thought they were so cool and they made fun of people who listened to spice girls now who's the gay one huh <laughs> Ayo. look at that uh, these allegations bear resemblance to accusations made by KC in a lawsuit against Diddy that was swiftly settled out of court. The lawsuit filed five years after Audi's 2018 interrogation had leveled, had levied, was it was grammatical to spelling error there, levied similar charges against Combs. So here's a video here. Combs. Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever he call himself yeah. these days. Yeah, go ahead. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. 
basically he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what I do with Cassie. I was like, I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I caught herpes. I caught herpes. He sa it says here, in case you missed that, Audie just claimed that he was a playtime slave for P. Diddy and Casey Ventura and that Co Sean Combs would jack it while telling Audie what to do with Casey as he, P. Diddy, would jack himself yeah and i came back and i seen him for the reason won but Diddy and ross which they good buddies rick ross they're good buddies buddies but buddies okay they 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 okay Who? nothing against that but live your truth okay though all of you who grew up listening to rap music thinking it was so cool you are officially Part of this community now. <laughs> Ayo. Oh, I know. It's, it's hard to it's hard to admit it, but it's okay, you know. Live your truth. Both Diddy and Ross and Khaled. They and Khalid. DJ Khalid. They are all gay. Oh, gay. Okay. DJ Khalid, Rick Ross, yeah. and P. Diddy. Yeah. They're all gay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. I seen the liquor cocaine. I've drank it myself. Having sex with Diddy and Cassie, okay? It's not good. He drinks all the time. All right, he calls it GG. Let's leave with cocaine. All right. I've settled 4.125 million dollars with Diddy. I've settled 4.125 million dollars with Diddy. Hold on. Settled how much? I've settled 4.125 million dollars with Diddy. 4.5 million dollars with Diddy. We'll just call it five, okay? I've settled five four point one two five million dollars with Diddy. Okay. okay, but he's scared that I was gonna expose him. I don't want to talk about Diddy right now. Yeah, he's scared that he was gonna expose Diddy, so he settled on like a five million dollar deal. I'm gonna talk about you. Help me understand you. I mean, who? That's so funny. Five... The, the, the interrogator's now saying, "Okay, well, I don't want to talk about. Him. Let's talk about you, right?" But earlier he was like, "Okay, okay, Diddy, yeah, got it. He's taking notes." Four point one two five million dollars with Diddy. Okay. okay, but he's scared that I was an explosive. I don't want to talk about Diddy right now. I want okay. to talk about you. Help me understand you. I mean, who? There's, there's an incident out of the hotel right here. So this is a police body cam. This is them going after him. Yeah, I, I, by the way, I, I, I didn't do news until like 2020, so I had no idea this even happened. Yeah, it's a busy year for me. Looks like an exchange of gunfire right out of a Hollywood action movie. Police say on Friday he opened fire inside President Donald Trump's luxury hotel. Sir, I'm ordering that you stay away from the Trump National Doral Hotel. Dude, he's still locked up, man. I wonder if Diddy put him up to this, you know? It's like, uh, he's still locked up, <laughs> you know? Police say that's where Odie stole an American flag from. And then that, that's him right there. That's the American flag he ripped down. Went into the lobby yelling anti-Trump remarks before shooting the ceiling and chandeliers. Police say he then got into a gun battle with responding officers. The gun battle goes on for nearly a minute. Yeah, that's him behind this barrier right here. Then he runs and he gets hit in the legs. He starts limping away. Before Odie decides to make a run for it. Another camera capturing him still firing shots, even tripping on the marble floor. Odie was shot in the legs as he ran away and was arrested after running up a stairwell. The accused gunman, Jonathan Odie, faced a judge for the first time Monday. Mr. Odie, you were arrested for five counts of attempted second degree murder <clears throat> of a law enforcement officer. Yeah, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, I'm going to do these. Good Lord. Anyways, um,. Vox reported the first suit filed in November 2023 by the singer Casey, who dated Combs and was signed to his label, alleged that he urged her to bang with male workers while he filmed, and that he later roared her. In another complaint, a woman identified only as Jane Doe says that in 20, 2003, so 21 years ago, when she was 17, Combs had her flown to, on a private jet to New York where he and two other dudes gave her substances and art her. He also made them sign uh, NDAs before that. 
uh, which by the way do not apply you cannot nda a crime and in a suit filed in february music producer rodney jones jr lil rod says that combs grabbed his crotchlers without consent and forced him to solicit sex workers and perform acts to pleasure combs Combs has denied all the allegations saying in a December statement, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight with for my name, my family, and for the truth. After the February suit, a, Fe a lawyer for Combs called Jones nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. The resurfacing of the interrogation video has spurred a renewed wave of public interest and speculation over the claims made against Diddy and Ventura. Uh, TGP previously reported that Homeland Security agents raided his house, LA and Miami. The lawsuit filed by producer Rodney Jones claims Diddy used his affiliation with Prince Harry along with other big time celebrities such as T.D. Jakes to give himself and his associates legitimacy when throwing uh, Playtime trafficking parties where abuse happened. SDNY is extending his reach, issuing subpoenas to network of cooperations linked to Diddy. These include telecommunications companies and tech firms, with even aircraft operators being targeted in a sweeping collection of evidence. Amidst the legal turmoil, Diddy has been divesting from major assets, including his shares in Revolt TV and returning music rights to Bad Boy Records. There are also claims that Diddy has been operating as a confidential informant for the FBI. We talked about that the other day. By the way, he's back. If you missed that episode, yeah, he's back in the States. He's just meandering, having fun playing top golf with his daughters. Okay. Uh, he's not stressed at all. So it tells me. Oh, and by the way, the jet leaving the country to go to Antigua was probably him summonsing the jet to come pick him up. Because he came right, that jet came right back to uh, Opalaka Airport. And then the next day, he's playing golf with his daughters. So it's probably more than likely he, that he knew that the raid was going to happen. The raid was basically the FBI collecting evidence, collecting all the blackmail that he helped acquire. And they're going to use that against all of Hollywood, all the, the rap music industry to get them to tr continue trashing Trump. Okay. Um, so expect that. Don't be surprised if uh, you see a lot of uh, high level people who party with Diddy once or twice. Just come out and repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly shit on Trump. Okay, that that is a thing that's going to be happening over the next. Um, although it probably won't it won't start until like September or so, because if it happens now, people will just forget about it. So in about September, October, you'll you hear a lot of people starting to turn against him. Anyways, uh, it says here, a role that might have afforded him protection from legal repercussions for his actions over the years. Diddy's former bodyguard has come forward expressing a willingness to testify against him. Now keep an eye on that guy because if he gets put down. Then we know that Diddy, this is all, this is all staged so that the, the feds could get Diddy's evidence, Diddy's collection, so to speak. Because he doesn't seem phased at all. Hello, Lisa. This potential testimony, as well as corroborating statements from other insiders, could prove to be a turning point in the case. The legal entanglements are compounded by a stunning allegation from Diddy's former bodyguard, suggesting that Diddy has been confidential informant for the FBI. Yeah. I mean, he's a bodyguard, so he goes where Diddy goes, and he says that, yeah, he's made a number of visits to the FBI office in New York, turning in uh, files and whatnot, right? So now, I, I went and looked up uh, this guy right here, uh, 2020, 2018 DT hotel shooting. Yeah, he is uh, a prawn star. Um, yeah. So uh, that's just a bad. He's still locked up. That's interesting. But anyways... Yes, yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, the the new info out of there. Yeah, this guy right there, been around the world in I I I. Oh, by the way, if you guys missed the opening, uh, that I don't I don't do the the I open the show with a music video prior to YouTube everywhere else. We played around the world uh, with uh, him, Mace, and uh, Biggie, and boy, a lot of game moments in that video. I was like, whoa! He he, he tried to make like a cinematic out of it, like thriller, you know, but one of with what with his uh music. And it turned out to be something that Mario Knopfel would probably put together, you know, because he's, you know, mm -hmm. right? 